everyone, welcome back. My name is Pooja and this is a Pilates sequence for a strong and healthy back. We'll be working on the posterior chain muscles with a little more focus on the intrinsic muscles that line our spine. We're going to get started in a seated position so you can either stay in a kneeling position like I am or you can even cross your legs if that's more comfortable for you. Whichever you choose, think of lifting up through the crown of the head and keeping your ears in line with your shoulders. Notice if your chin is coming forward, that puts a lot of pressure on the neck muscles. So pull your chin back and align your neck with your spine. Shoulders are resting away from the ears. Once you've got this, draw the ribs in slightly together and pull the belly button in. A slight engagement in the abdomen. Reach the arms up on the inhale. And on the exhale, bend the elbows in front of the chest, squeeze the elbows together and the palms together. So my palms are together and my elbows are together. Notice that my elbows are right in front of my chest and not drooping down. Now let's open on the inhale, keeping that 90 degree angle in the elbows, opening up through the collarbones and the chest and exhale to close the arms. So elbows touch, palms touch. Keep going at your own breath space, inhaling to open, exhale, bring your arms back together, making sure the elbows stay in that 90 degree angle and reach right in front of the chest when you close. One more, inhale and exhale. This time, keep the elbows squeezing in together and the palms squeezing in together. Relax the shoulders away from the ears and start to move the elbows up and down, just an inch. Lift up an inch and lower down. Keep breathing. Let's do that one more time. Inhale up, exhale lower and release the arms. All right, I'm just going to turn over so that you see and we're going to stretch out the arms up on the inhale once again bend the elbows into that 90 degree angle and now you're going to think of drawing the shoulder blades in and down towards the base of your spine so we're going to squeeze those shoulder blades in and down inhale to lift up exhale activate those muscles in between the shoulder blades so more than pulling the elbows down we're working on activating those muscles in between the shoulder blades to pull them in and down inhale lift up exhale so imagine you want to tuck the shoulder blades into your jeans back pockets if you were wearing jeans let's do this one more time inhale up Exhale down. Nice job. And slowly release. All right, let's meet in a tabletop position now. With your wrist under the shoulders, the knees under the hip points, and the toes can be tucked or untucked. Now from here, first thing, we're going to make sure our neck is in alignment with the spine and we're not dropping the head. The crown of the head is reaching forward and we're pushing away from the ground without allowing our, sh our chest to collapse in between the shoulders like this. So gently press away from the ground, neck in is, is in alignment with the spine. Draw the ribs in, the belly button slightly in. And now we're going to shift the hips all the way to the left side. Look over the left shoulder and pull the left shoulder back. Imagine you want to tuck the left shoulder blade into the back pocket. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, look over the right shoulder and shift the, the hips towards the right side. Let's keep going this way. Inhale and exhale. So we're getting into a lateral flexion in the spine. Inhale, center. Exhale to the other side. Let's do one more on each side. Go at your own breath space and stay with your body, stay with your breath. Notice how this feels in your spine. Last one. And come back to center. Tuck the toes under if they were not already and let's give those wrists a little um, break by just 
taking a few circles in one direction, in the opposite direction, flexing and extending our wrists a few times, and shake out your hands. Okay, now let's meet in a tabletop position but with our elbows down. So the elbows are right under my shoulders here, the knees are under my hip points and my forearms are parallel, palms down on the floor. So again, I'm not letting my belly drop like that, not allowing my chest to collapse in between my shoulders. Press away from the ground with your elbows this time and draw the lower belly in slightly. From here, we're going to inhale to lift the sitting bones up. Keep that slight engagement in the belly and open up through the chest, pull the shoulders away from the ears, keep your neck long. On the exhale, tuck the tailbone, slowly rounding through the spine, imagine creating space between each vertebra and then bring the chin in towards the chest. Inhale, starting from the tailbone, lift the sitting bones, Keep that light engagement in the abdominal muscles. Open up through the collarbones. Keep the neck long and pull the shoulder blades back. Exhale, tuck the tailbone. Start to round through the lower back. Pull the lower belly in. Belly button hugs in towards the spine. And round the back. And then slowly come back to center and bring your hands back under the shoulders. Now from here we're going to work on stabilizing the pelvis and working not only on the back muscles but also on the abdominal muscles. Now from here coming into that neutral spine position with the ribs slightly tucked in, the lower belly slightly engaged, shoulders away from the ears, we're going to extend the right arm and the left leg, keeping the rest of the body nice and stable. Imagine you have a tray of drinks on your lower back that you don't want to spill. And once you're here, slowly start to lift the toes and the fingers off the floor. Remember not to collapse into that left shoulder, press away from the ground, gaze down and breathe. But if you want to add a little movement, you can just tap the toes and the fingers down onto the mat and lift right back up. Go at your own pace, maybe inhale to lower, exhale to lift, or you can just hold it here. So remember to pull the belly in, ribs in, keep the neck long. You can flex the back foot or keep the toes pointing out and slowly release and we're going to do the same on the other side so first find your nice stable position drawing the ribs in belly button in press away from the ground with your right hand slide the right leg and the left arm away imagine that tray of drinks on the lower back and start to lift the toes and the fingers off the floor breathe here flex the foot behind you Keep the ribs in, neck long. Think of reaching the crown of the head forward. So again, if you want to add a little bit of movement, tap the toes and the fingers down, keeping the rest of the body stable and lift. You can do this a few times. Moving with the breath, full body awareness, controlled moves. Hold it for one or two breaths now. And then release the knee, release the hand down. And we're going to lie down on the belly now. So transition slowly and carefully. Come on to the belly. We're going to start with the swan prep. So we're going to do a lot of extension work, um, which is really, really great to activate muscles, but we'll do that very, very mindfully. Now first for the swan prep, we're going to keep our arms in a W position. Elbows are bent, palms are down. The legs are apart, so about a hip width distance in between the legs. Toes are out, heels are in. So keep the legs really long. 
and the back of the neck really long. The shoulders are away from the ears. And we're going to start by pressing our palms down and the elbows down and coming into a mild, soft back bend on the inhale. Inhale to lift the chest. On the exhale, lower down. So it can be a very, very small movement, but think more of lengthening forward instead of lengthening upward. Reaching the crown of your head forward and pulling the shoulder blades down towards your back pocket. So really imagine you want to tuck them into those back pockets. Keep going at your own breath space. Keep those legs active and long. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Good, we're going to add on a little bit to this. So here we were only doing extension. We're going to add rotation and flexion. Now we're going to slide the chest all the way to the left side of the mat. Lift the chest and look over the left shoulder. Now my right elbow is lifting off the floor and that's okay. You want to keep, keep tucking that left shoulder blade down towards the base of the spine and look over the left shoulder, trying to gaze towards your heels. Lower down, come back to center. On your inhale, slide towards the right side. Your left elbow will lift off. Pull the right shoulder blade down and look over the right shoulder. Exhale, lower down to center. Inhale, slide over to the left side. And this is an excellent exercise for the spine because like I said, it's not only extension, we're adding rotation and lateral flexion. Let's do this one more time. Using your breath to lift the chest, exhaling to lower. That's the last one on the right side. and release the chest down bend your knees and just windshield wiper your legs side to side releasing the lower back if you feel any tension good we're going to stretch out the legs again once you're ready and bring the hands under the shoulders now or slightly outwards even and the elbows are bent and off the floor now we're going to do another variation of the swan. We're not doing the full swan as yet. We're going, to, we're going to press into the floor with the hands, lift the chest, coming into an extension, keeping the legs long. And on the exhale, we'll lower down. Now every time you lift, really think of elongating the spine and pulling the shoulders away from the ears, crown of the head reaches forward, and every time you exhale down, think of bringing the ribs slightly forward, as if you wanted to land them slightly forward every time. That will just help you ensure that you keep some space between your vertebra. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, lower down. Think of landing those ribs slightly closer to the top edge of the mat. Now, if you start to feel uh, pinching in your back or a discomfort or a pain, you just need to bring your hands a little more forward. It just means that your back is not ready for that extension just as yet. So bringing your hands forward will give you a little more space. And you don't have to straighten your elbows. Don't worry about that. Just come to any level that is comfortable for you. And always, always think of lengthening forward more than lengthening upward. Do one more at your own pace, keeping those legs down on the floor. All right, let's bring our hands to stack, one on top of the other. Relax your forehead on the hands and we're going to work more on the legs now. And this will help us work a little more on the lower back muscles, on the hamstrings and the glutes. Good, so from here, try to switch off your neck muscles a little bit, relax the shoulders, keep your toes pointing outwards. And we're going to lengthen and energize our legs and lift them off the floor. Don't worry if they don't lift too high, maybe just an inch is okay, but really think of elongating them and then lowering them. 
Keep going at your own pace. Lift and lower. Try to hold for a count when they're lifted. Just to feel that engagement in all those muscles and lower down. And imagine you don't have knees <laughs> and keep the legs nice and straight. So I'm not bending my knees here. Keep the legs long. Do two or three more. Remember to relax your neck, relax the shoulders. We've got one last round. Lift and lower. Nice job. Relax. You can wiggle your hips from side to side, releasing any tension. Now we're going to put those two together. So we're going to do the extension. And when we lower down, we're going to lift the legs. So it's like a seesaw movement. Really imagine a seesaw lifting up on one side. And then as you lower the chest, the legs lift up. Again, don't worry of the height. Okay, go at your own uh, pace and just notice what your level is here. And as your muscles get stronger, you'll be able to activate more and lift a little higher without pushing too much. All right. All right, bring your hands down on the floor. Elbows are close in towards the body. Toes are out. Let's start with the extension. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Keep the neck long. Lift up. On the exhale, lower down. Lift the legs. Keep the legs energized. Reach the toes away from you. Go at your own pace. Lower down the legs. Lift the chest, extend, pull the shoulder blades down the back and release the chest down as you lift the legs. Listen to your breath and let the breath guide your movements. I'm going to do one more. And then release everything down. Bring your hands under the shoulders, tuck your toes under and press away. Come into a quick child's pose, releasing the back. That should feel pretty good after all that work. And just take a moment to really relax the shoulders and breathe deeply into your rib cage and feel the back ribs expand. Feel the skin of your back stretch out. Let the head, let the chest melt down towards the ground. Take one more deep breath. And then we're going to continue with that back strengthening work. Inhale to gaze forward. Come back on your tabletop position. And let's just do one or two rounds of cat and cow to release our back a little bit. Inhale to lift the sitting bones. Draw the shoulders back, keep the neck long, open up through the chest, and on the exhale, tuck the tailbone. Create space between each vertebra. Draw the ribs in, push away from the ground. You can do one more. Inhaling deeply, lifting the sitting bones, and exhale completely, rounding through the back. Let your heart shine through the back. And come back to center. And let's make our way back on the belly. Nice and carefully. All right. This time we're going to stretch out the arms forward. And we're going to do the Pilates swimming. And we'll break it down a little bit to begin. I'm going to keep my right hand down on the floor and the left leg down on the floor. And we're going to work on all those diagonal muscles. So we're going to lift the opposite arm and the opposite leg. Let's start with the left arm and the right leg. Lift and lower. The head is hovering just off the floor, still keeping the neck long. Right arm lifts up, left leg lifts up and lower. So really think of lengthening the arm and the leg, keeping the neck long. And opposite, release. Let's do one more time on each side. Remember, crown of the head reaching forward. Think of lengthening forward. 
and down all right and if this is enough for you you're going to keep doing this otherwise you're going to join me in the full swimming where we lift both our arms and both the legs and then move opposite leg opposite arm so you can have a look first i'm going to lift my arms lift my legs keeping the neck long my head is hovering off the floor now from here i'm going to lift my right leg and left arm slightly higher and then switch switch so it's a really imagine swimming create your own resistance imagine you're moving through water and notice that my hips are not dancing around my pelvis is not shifting it's only my limbs moving and this comes with a lot of control in the back muscles. Keep breathing. Let's do a few more nice and controlled moves. Really imagine you don't have knees and you want to keep those legs long. And slowly release everything down. You can bend your knees and just allow the hips and your feet to move side to side. Release any tension in the back all right we're going to now work on the hamstrings a little bit and we'll couple that with a bit of extension work so this is the double leg kick all right and it really really helps to activate these muscles in the backs of the, of the thighs so first thing we're going to stay on the belly bring the arms by the sides of the body Bring the legs together and bend the elbows and hold on to one wrist. Any wrist is okay. Relax the shoulders down, relax your elbows down. Turn your face and rest the right side of your face down on the floor. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to energize my legs, imagining somebody's pulling my legs away from me and then bend the knees and I'm going to kick three times. So I'm going to kick 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 and then I'm going to extend my legs the feet don't touch the floor in this exercise they're going to hover off the floor I'm going to lengthen my neck crown of the head reaches forward and extend the spine reaching my hands towards my heels opening up through the collarbones pulling my shoulder blades down the back and slowly release the chest down bend the knees again and this time I'm turning my head towards the right so the left side of my face is down on the floor shoulders are relaxed elbows are relaxed I'm going to, going to do three kicks again now when you're kicking imagine this muscle bulging think of lifting the knees just a little bit with every kick and that will ensure that this muscle works and the glutes are working as well so if you're just kicking like this you won't feel anything here so really think of energizing the leg, lifting the knee, maybe even the thigh a little bit off the floor and kicking three times. Let's go. Kick, kick, kick. Extend, reach the hands towards your heels. Crown of the head reaches forward. Lower down. Let's do one more on each side. Kick, kick, kick. Extend the spine, long legs. Last one on this side. Kick, lift the knees, kick, and extend the spine. And release everything down. Hands come under the shoulders, tuck the toes under, press yourself back into that child's pose, well-deserved rest. Drop the head and breathe. Breathe deeply here. Allow your lower back and the upper back to relax. And then lift the head, come back into your tabletop position and come into a cross-legged position or you can stay in that kneeling position if that works better for you. Let's just stretch out the shoulders and the sides of our waist a little bit. Bring your arms by the sides, inhale to reach the arms up. On the exhale, let the right hand come in line with your right hip and give yourself a nice side bend towards the right, keeping both the sitting bones down, chest open. Come back to center, bend the left elbow, hand behind the head, inhale, 
And on the exhale, bring your left rib cage towards the right hip bone. Inhale, open the chest. Imagine your heart wants to peep towards the ceiling. Open, open, open. And exhale, elbow towards the knee. Still keeping the elbow wide, I'm not dropping my elbow. Last one, inhale, open. Exhale. Good. Come back to center. Reach the left hand in line with your left hip. Reach the right arm up, inhale. And exhale, give yourself a nice side bend. Keep the chest open, sitting bones on the floor. Collar bones wide. And come back to center. Bend the elbow, hand behind your head, inhale. Exhale, let right rib cage towards the left hip bone. Inhale, open the chest this time. Think of shining your heart up towards the sky. Exhale, crunch. Do one more. Inhale, open. Exhale. Elbow to knee. Come back to center. Release the hands down. Take a, take a couple of shoulder rolls just to release any tension in the shoulders. And close your eyes if you need to. Just notice how you feel in the back. I'm sure you feel a lot of activation. You feel a lot of work done in the back. Breathe into that. And then open your eyes if they're closed. Thank you for following along. I hope that you enjoyed and that you found this sequence useful. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends and family so that they can benefit from it as well. Thank you and see you next week.